Jack McPhee's. Why did we look at this place and thought we could go in and treat people with respect and have the same respect treated back considering their service providers? However, this was a mess the breakfast was in. Everything was greasy. To the plate, to the forks, the eggs were black, um, all the food was soaked in grease, meaning it has been fried at a temperature that was too low when it was put in the pan. Or it has been sitting saturated in grease, one of the two. But my frying pan isn't even as dirty. I'm fully trained with the hotel care and training board, I know what's required by you. It doesn't matter whether you want to talk about the law, uh, consumer protection, that you, you've got everything there. You've got absolutely everything, this is a disgrace. Uh, what's more, I didn't actually quite like the way that I had entered the building. I had to be stared it all the way up, looked up and down, uh, look at his content on the face, and I sneer away, and I back turned to me before I had to draw the lass's attention to servers. Having ordered a full Scottish breakfast, never it comes in the description, I found items missing. The plate was a terrible disgrace. This is Kimberly. She's waiting on me telling her it's alright to come into this cafe, that everything's nice and safe. She, the lass is terrified. She's standing where we disability dug eh? Jack McPhee's, plate agrees. It's not a place to go. The treatment was terrible. Just humiliated in front of everybody. Purely embarrassed. So, I've just come back for a local stall that sell breakfast to take away. Now bear in mind you've got a cat, I've never opened this, but I'm aware of the kind of breakfast that's served. So this is a bit of a chance, it could be a mess, but I doubt it. This is a guy in a white in the rain. Look at that. Steam coming off it, roasting hot. Look at the egg, see how the egg's white? And so is the back here. Right, and if you go through this tray, you don't find any grease anywhere. Look at that. Clean as a whistle. And guess how much that is? £3.85. And see, for £4.95, your breakfast is a disgrace. So what I want you to think about is compensating me for the way I was treated by the woman. Now, I've not put the, the voice recording in me actually making the complaint. And what I'd done at the time was, was I took the, the plate and the £5 note which I had on the table to pay for it and that was on the table long before uh, the breakfast arrived and it remained there. So when I stood up to complain about it, I lift up, lifted up the £5, I lifted up the, the breakfast plate and I put it on the counter and whilst making the complaint, the woman had the audacity to take the £5, put it through her till and give me five pence change. I had no intentions of paying for this. Uh, now I'm not going to give you the audio recording, like I said, about the, the conceitedness, the absolutely disproval of the fact that I've, I've walked into our cafe, eh? um, but that breakfast is a shocker. So, you either compensate me £100 for my humiliating experience, um, I'm a carer for a disabled person who finds it hard to go into places, and we were regularly eating in the cafe in the Savoy for about the last year and a half, um, £10 a time. We would have done that every other day, we use, um, but the, the, the hostility and the treatment and the customer service that, that I received, nay apologies, nay nothing, women couldn't even look at me, just talking to me in a despondent manner, you know, a re really low demeanour, really depressing, really sarcastic, yeah? um, oh that's the way it came off the fryer, you know, that's just one part of what she said, but if she wants to deny anything that I'm claiming, then I'll, I'll certainly come in with the recording, but when I come in with the recording, it'll be through a summary cause warrant has been raised against you about your food standards. Um, I'm hotel care training board trained and I know what's required by law. So get your finger out compensating me for £100 for your humility and the fact that it was only £5 that I had for my breakfast. You know, that's why I decided to go in there. I had another £5 to get Kimberly her breakfast. Um, she waited outside, wondering, well she came, she went away for a walk with the dog, take the dog for a walk, but she came back uh, to get my viewpoint on the place to see if she would be comfortable in there. And it certainly isn't a place that would be comfortable. Disabled people coming in and wanting to sit up at the front and the wife coming up and telling them, no you sit up there, can And being told where to sit, that's not on. You know, just because they're not socially acceptable or they're being discriminated against by getting sat, sat in a black corner someplace, no, no.
I don't care if that wife runs the place. If she does, she's needing fired as their director. She really is needing sacked. She needs she need to do something. She needs to go into training. Um, she, she really needs a, a, a serious course in people skills. Right, anyway, I'm going to get my breakfast now, eh? Never had none to eat since yesterday. The thing about the girl with disabilities, that was looking to have some place to eat, it was up to me to come in and check and make sure there was going to be any conflict, anything that would upset her. And I'm glad I'd done that. But she did remain standing outside for a considerable period of time. And she never got a breakfast, and I was £5 down.